Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be going through an update of my project pan that I started a few months ago. Um, this project I just started because I wanted to get through a few of my older products in my collection and just see if I could use some things up. I haven't been very strict with myself on having to use these products because I still wanted to enjoy doing my makeup in the morning but it's just been in the back of my mind to consciously make an effort to use up the products that I've had the longest so without further ado I'll just go through some of the products so I'll start on a high which is with this Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm in the shade Peachgasm because I've actually used this all up and I'm super proud of myself for that because using up makeup just seems so difficult for me like I never get through any products and I don't think I even have that much makeup I think I just I like to rotate I like to use everything I have and I don't wear makeup on an everyday basis it's more of like a twice a week sort of thing so I do find it difficult to use products up however I did finish this in its entirety which I'm super proud of so this is more I use this as um like a a cream blusher sort of thing it's more of a highlighting blush so I always go over with powder but I like the effect it gives to my skin um it is something I already have a backup of, however, I'm not going to open that just yet. So I'm going to try and use my other older products too, but I'm actually very happy with the fact I've used up a product entirely. Next up, I've got this foundation. Now, as you can see, it's right down to the bottom. I've got about a handful of uses, maybe possibly three or four. Um, this I probably could have used up if I'd worked at it a little bit harder. It's my favourite foundation that's unfortunately been discontinued. So even though I know in my head I should be using it up before it goes bad, I almost don't want to use it because I know I'll miss it, <laughs> which is quite silly to say out loud. But this is definitely another product that I'm super happy with the progress for. I'll put a before and after so you can see as well. I think it was about up to here before. And this is definitely going to be used up before the end of the year, which was my goal. Um, so yeah, I'm going to miss this when it does go. But in terms of it being in my project pan, I'm super proud of myself for the progress that I have made on this. Then I've got my concealer. So this is almost used up, but it was at the beginning as well a few months ago. I haven't been using this as much as I should have been. I've been reaching for my favourite Kosas concealer over this one. So I do need to get better at reaching for this one. It's not quite the right shade for me, which I think is why I'm not reaching for it as much. But as you can see here, and um, hopefully in the pictures too, there is a lot of windowing. So it should hopefully, just like the foundation, be used up by the end of the year if I do put more effort into this. So that's something that I do need to work on. It is a lovely formula. It's very hydrating. I can use this all over the face or under my eyes and it does look gorgeous, but it's just it's slightly too peachy for my undertone so I find that I don't reach for it as much as I reach for my Kosas concealer which has more of an olive undertone because I do struggle being quite pale but also having an olive undertone so I need to get better at colour matching myself <laughs> so that I actually use up my products. But yeah I am happy with how it's going um I just need to make an effort to really gravitate towards this one so that I can use it up hopefully before Christmas. So next up I've got this Kat Von D shade and light palette. So if I open it up, I'm only using up the powders 
in this palette. So if you didn't watch my intro video, all of these bronzers or contour shades don't really work for me. I find this one is far too dark, this one is far too warm, and this one almost has a purpley undertone on me, so it just looks like a bruise. So none of them are being used. However, to get decent use out of the product, I decided I wanted to finish up these powders. And I have made progress on them. They did all have pan to begin with. However, every single shade has increased in pan. Hopefully you can see that in the photos as well that I put up. So I am very happy with myself in gravitating towards this palette to use it up because again it is a very old product in my collection I've had this gosh I don't even know maybe six years at this point so although it forms fine because it is a powder I don't think they really go bad it is something I do want to kind of clear out of my collection but I want to make sure I'm getting as much use out of products before I get rid of them essentially so I'm super happy with the progress I've made on this. The only issue is because it is so bulky whenever I do travel to someone else's house or on holiday, it's not really what I gravitate towards taking because it takes up so much space rather than just a smaller powder. But when I'm at home, I do make a conscious effort to reach for this. So I'm happy with how it's going and hopefully I can also finish these up I don't know if that's a bit extreme, but I will try by the end of the year as well. Right, so next up is my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Now I put this in my product pan, not expecting to hit pan, which obviously I haven't done, but because it is again one of my older products and I wasn't reaching for it, so I just thought if I put it in, I'll tell myself I have to use it and I'm so happy that I did put this in because I've completely fallen back in love with this. This bronzer especially is so neutral that it works for me and my undertone to contour and bronze at the same time and I can find bronzers quite tricky because a lot of them pull too warm and then it gets too orange and I don't think it looks the best on me. With this I find even with a bit of a heavier hand I can still make it look natural and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. So although I probably won't hit pan on it by the end of the year I'm getting a good amount of usage out of this which I wasn't before. So that was one of my goals with this product just to make sure I was using it because it is quite expensive and I've had it for a while. So I'm very happy that I put this back in because I am loving my makeup by using this. The highlight, I'm not using as much. I do think it's beautiful, but I think with the makeup trends right now, highlight isn't something I'm gravitating towards a lot of. So I might do a light layer occasionally, but I'm definitely using the bronzer a lot more. Um, hopefully, I will hit pan on both of these eventually. I'm not expecting it because I think it will take quite a long time. But this is just something I'm really enjoying using right now. And I'll put up a before and after photo. I'm not sure there'll be much to see, but I'll do it up there just in case. So that is my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Then I put in my setting spray. So I put this in because... I, well, I got this in an advent calendar last year and my favourite setting spray is actually the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I told myself I wasn't going to repurchase that until I'd used this up. And although I do really enjoy the finish that this gives my makeup, it does make me look very dewy, um, very healthy, which I enjoy. There's just something about the smell of it. It's almost a bit play doh and it's just not that pleasant when you're putting it all over your face. So I do think once I use this up I will repurchase my Charlotte Tilbury one. However for progress I have used up quite a lot of this which I'm super happy with. Again this is one I hope to finish by the end of the year so that maybe I can treat myself to the Charlotte Tilbury one for Christmas. Um, you'll see in the before and after I think it was about at the L level whereas now it's in the M level. 
and I'm super proud of my progress with this one. It is a little bit difficult to see because it's one of those uh, Too Faced products, so you have to shake it up and then it gets a bit bubbly. Um, but hopefully in the pictures you can see better. I'm about, I'd say a bit under halfway through this. So again, I'm very happy with this progress. Um, and yeah, hopefully this will be gone by the end of the year as well. Now on to the two lip products that I had in my project pan. So the first one is this Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick. Now these used to be my favourite formula ever. I believe they've been discontinued now, but it's so old that I'm surprised it's still going well, to be honest. Um, I'm very close to finishing this, which is why I put it in my project pan, because I have never finished up a lipstick. I don't know how, because I don't have many of them, and this one especially I use pretty much every time I do my makeup, but I've still never finished one up. So that's a big goal of mine. I do ideally want to finish this by the end of the year. However, I thought I would have more progress on this than I do. So maybe I should try and wear makeup more often. <laughs> I think when I'm working from home, I don't tend to put on makeup as much as I used to. So maybe that's something to bear in mind when I'm adding stuff to a project pan. But I think maybe going forward I could just put on a little bit of lipstick when I'm just working at my desk because it does make me feel good. You'll see I've been doing that with my lip gloss instead of the lipstick um, but I'll put the before and after. There has been a little bit of progress on this um, and again if I finish it by the end of the year I'll be super happy but I've got to work a little bit harder at this. And in case you're wondering, this is the shade 08, but I'm not sure if you can get this anymore. But it is a gorgeous mauve tone that's very natural and I think it goes with pretty much every makeup look that I do. And then the final product is this lip gloss. Now I've had this for quite a few years now, which is why I put it in this project. Surprisingly, it still smells and tastes as it did to begin with, which is quite interesting considering how old it is but that's a sign that I can still continue to use it which is what I've been doing. Now this is a gorgeous gorgeous gloss it makes your lips look so juicy so I've been putting this on pretty much whenever my hair is up or when I'm just at my desk and I fancy putting on cold my I'm always using this like a lip balm just throughout the day just to try and get some more use out of it because you really don't need very much of this and you get 12 mils which is quite a lot for a lip gloss. Now this is gorgeous it doesn't have that much pigment so you can put it over pretty much any lipstick or lip liner that you have and it just makes your lips super glossy. The only thing is it is quite thick and it is sticky so if my hair is down I tend not to reach for this just because I know that especially going into autumn and it's getting windier it's going to my hair is going to go everywhere and it's going to stick to my gloss which is isn't pleasant but when my hair is up or I'm just indoors this is gorgeous it does taste very nice like a melon daiquiri so I find myself putting it on quite a lot throughout the day. Um, you've seen the photos, it has gone down. It's at the U now. I think it was just above the I before. So it's going down slowly. I'm not sure I'll finish this up because there is quite a lot more to go. But I am happy with the progress I've made on this. So those were all the product updates that I have for you. I would love to know in the comments below if any of you are doing a project pan and how yours are going. Um, I think it's always a good idea to be aware of the products you have in your collection and also make sure you're getting good use out of them. So I'd love to know how yours are all going. And if you have any questions, then please leave them below. Thank you for watching.